What's up guys, back with another video. Today we're gonna to be doing some work on the Rincon 680. Today this thing, I had to go into it and do an oil uh, pump chain in the front. And when I did that for the first time, I accidentally took off the backside of the engine like an idiot. So I had to go back into there because I put a piece in wrong and it won't shift into forward if you look. If I shift forward, it kind of like gives me like a bounce and it doesn't click. If I shift into reverse, it holds into reverse and gives me like a nice click. So I'm gonna have to take the engine apart and make sure that little, it's a little, uh, little shift fork right in there. And I'm gonna have to, and it kind of goes up and down like this. So I gotta make sure that thing's put in right, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. But we're gonna get it done. Hold on. In order to get to the back of the engine, the air box has to come out, the carburetor has to come off, the snorkel tube has to come out, and then I gotta start taking the bolts out of the back of the case. This is super annoying, but... And then I'm almost, I'm crossing my fingers, I do not have to take the rear diff and move it backwards, but I might have to take the rear diff to move it backwards to be able to get this in the output shaft to be able to scoot back enough to be able to move the cover back enough. I'm hoping the half inch I have is enough to stick a pick in there, move the gear how I need it, and be done. But fingers crossed on that one. All right, we got the air box uh, seat off, carburetor and intake moved out of the way. So now I gotta go down in there, take these bolts out of here, so that way I can get the stator out of there. And then once that piece comes off, then I can take all the bolts out of the case and start to inch that back. Cross my fingers, I have enough room. You can see how the shaft goes straight into the engine there. Get a better angle on it. Let's see, you see like right there, that little gap, where's a better angle? Yeah, that little gap is all I got to work with. So that's all I got to work with to inch this case back. So hopefully that little gap right there is gonna be enough for me to move this case back get in here with a pick it's uh it's a spline shaft like this you guys will see later but i really hope i don't have to take the axle out let's get this knocked out well we got distracted it started raining so everything got wet i'm not trying to work on that while it's wet so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our shed back here put a couple of shelves because we need some shelf space so yeah we're back it's been a few days i've gone to school Gone to work, done some stuff, but it's time to go camping. We're gonna go camping this weekend, so I actually need to finish this. The last I think we left off was I was saying I got the carburetor out of the way and the airbox out of the way, and that's where I stopped. Then I did a little project in the shed over there. I built some shelves. So today we're actually going to take off the bolts on the back of this engine and cross our fingers that the case moves back just enough for me to get it in there and fidget with the the shift lever like fork and we're gonna try and fix that so get to it i really don't want to do it but it's gonna be fun to go riding this weekend so i'm gonna get it done nothing to it but to do it gotta test the audio it's better to have the microphone way down yonder or way up yonder oh almost fell off probably gonna be better to have it way down here i think clips a lot are you freaking serious? Is it really drizzling right now? It is literally drizzling rain right now. God damn it. Well, this is going great already. Can't find a tool for this drill, so Milwaukee it is. And it's raining properly now. So yippee. All right. Got all the bolts out of the stator slash pull start cover. Gotta try and tap this thing off. All right, got the starter gears, and the stator taken out. Let me come grab you. Show you what we got going on here. We got the stator taken off. Back the engine there. So I'm gonna plug this plug, move this out of the way, and then now I gotta start taking the brackets off with this. Shift cable and start taking the case bolts out. Well, got the case cracked open. 
But here's my predicament. Let's see if I can get you guys in there. So this shaft comes in inside of there. You can kind of see it. That shaft goes onto that the other tooth sprocket. Kind of looks. It's right there on the middle of the screen. I'll, I'll circle it. But it needs to be up like two more teeth because right now it's hitting its bump stop at the bottom there. You can kind of see it right there. And that bump stock is preventing it from going into forward. I put it in wrong. So right now it's supposed to be in neutral, which neutral should be, you know, not against the forward gear. So right now the, that little angle piece is in forward gear position when it should be in neutral position. I'm going to try for five minutes, see if I can pull that shaft out and get that thing spun, but I'm not hopeful, but we'll see. Well, sorry I'm not showing much of the process here. I'm kind of just showing the results because I've been at this for, I haven't worked on it in months and been stressing me out i'm just trying to get it done but phenomenal news i was able to wizardly get my picks in there i used uh, the orange one mostly but this other one too to try and get it to hold up that little little cog wheel basically was able to pull this shaft out enough move the cog wheel off kind of back it off and slip it up a couple teeth click click now we're good watch this forward neutral Rovers. Before you guys saw earlier in the video it was like binding up. Now it's just forward reverse. Nice audible click. Goes in the gear. It's perfect. So didn't have to take the diff out. It's amazing. I'm gonna start putting the bolts back on the cover. I'm gonna start. I might have to clean the carburetor. I got some sand in it. See it. I'm about to clean it out, get some sand in it, and then uh, so I'll probably take the bowl off, do all that jazz. Oh, yeah, I gotta replace the o ring inside of this too. I forgot it's leaking fuel, but uh, we were put that cover back on, put all these bolts back in, get all that buttoned up, clean up the carburetor, and see, fires up. I'll get back to you guys when I get the cover back on and everything's bolted up. Okay, well, I'm gonna move this back over to next to the shed so I actually have room to work. And I can connect the light because it's getting dark on me. It is getting dark. God, this thing is so hard to move. That's why I want to sell it. I'm not a big mud bike guy, but I wanted to try one. And I got this thing for like two grand. It's a horrible idea. But by the time I'm done fixing it, making it good, it'll just look a little fooped up because of all the cracks and the plastic. But why will this 8,000 mile bike drive nice? That lighting is not the best, but it will have to do. I'm gonna go get brake clean, a little Phillips head, because I wanna replace that gasket. What happens is when you push this down, it's supposed to be a primer, so it primes. And uh, when you push it down, fuel just squirts all out of that. But that's great. it's nice to be able to push that, especially this weekend. Cause it's gonna get. I'm in Florida here, and it's going to get down to 55 in Okeechobee. Don't want a little bit of a primer ball action. And uh, after all, I do this carburetor and get this all buttoned up. My battery sulfated, so I might have to go get a new one from a Walmart. So we'll see what happens on that. But when I get this in... And I got a seal up the air box with some silicone. And I want to put that in. Oil, coolant. See if she will bark to life. Get this primer off. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's not good. Well, I have to order that one piece online. Let me show you guys real quick. So, if you look inside. See here. Look inside there, push that out. You can kind of see, yeah, no bueno. So this thing is junk. Oh, well, well, we'll throw that one right back on. Sound like we didn't see it and clean the sand out of the carb. All right, I got the carburetor back in, got that cleaned out off camera. Uh, 
Sadly, while I was sitting for three months, my battery went dead, so I might have to pull that back out. I tried charging it, but it was so faded, like I said earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out, run on Walmart real quick, and get a new battery. Hopefully, it's not $100, but we'll see. And then we're going to come back here, put the battery in. I think I might put the air box back in because it might not like being open to air. It likes to have a filter if it'll suck through. And uh, we'll turn it on, put some oil in it, fill the coolant up. She fires up. All right. Carburetor's back on. Fuel is on. It is not leaking. I got oil filled up inside of it. Let's check for a leak real quick before I. It's starting to fire it up. Let's uh, see what happens if I hit the starter now. Not gonna run it that long because now I need to put coolant in it. But that is a W. Sweet. I mean, it fired right up, dude. Fired right up. Let's give it those again. Okay, it's a warm up, but that is awesome. That thing fired right up. Let's check the oil again. Make sure it's got good oil because the intercooler was probably cold and everything like that so let me check the oil one more time and then we're gonna get some coolant in it yeah it was that dipstick was bone dry but it was like over the full mark whenever i had it it was before it ran so definitely sucked up some oil this is only a four quart jug it says when you do an oil change, it's supposed to take three uh, three quarts, but I want to say when you take the engine apart, it, it's going to require a little bit more. More fire up. Yes, it moves. All right, it moves. Awesome. Had a real quick repair I had to make, I'm about to make, on this uh, coolant reservoir crack. Right there, you can kind of see the dark line there on the edge, right there. And then uh, this top part broke off too, so probably going to just forget about that and fix this one down here. Perfect. I guess I can give this a shot. the oil pump chain when i was out at a mud event i lost all movement so the fact that it's moving it's actually moving pretty crisply as well it may have been 
having low oil pressure issues because when I used to drive it, it would shift weird and all this funny stuff. So well, we're going to see what happens. But I got to get a new battery tomorrow at the store. I took the battery out of the players. So we're going to go and uh, call that a night. It moves. It runs. All I got to do now is throw the diff back together, but I'm going to do that off camera because it's kind of just annoying and tight space. So, but uh, we'll let it wrap this up, guys. What's up, guys? I think the last that we left off was last night, getting this fired up, moving for the first time since it broke, and now it's on the trailer. So we're all loaded up. I didn't really record any of it because it took a while to get everything loaded up, and then we got our truck and trailer over there. So we're going to head out. But that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned because once this video comes out shortly after it's gonna be this video We're ripping the trails on the dirt bikes and hopefully this thing doesn't break again. So thanks for watching. Bye